Before this video starts, I want to um, make sure you guys follow my profile in Scratch. Uh, it's called Joel Manjet, and it's going to have my this guy logo. And yeah. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you're on the post notification squad so whenever I make a video, you'll get notified. What's up guys, this is Guy back at it again for another video, and today I'll be showing you how to make a game called Catch the Catch the Apples. Um it is fairly easy. Um I have added some stuff onto it. Which and uh yeah, if um the preview is at the start of the video. So uh, let's get right into it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the cat's costume, take this one out, hit clear, and then you're gonna go uh, click on the add. So it's gonna bring you to the costume library. So I'm gonna go to, I don't know, I'll find something like a bowl. Okay. Now we've got a bowl. Uh, we're gonna make it a bit bigger. Okay, now we're gonna paint, uh, I mean, uh, choose a sprite from the library again. And make sure this is another sprite. So we're gonna choose an apple. Uh, does it fit in? Uh, I think I can make it a bit bigger. Well, okay. So now let's go to the stage backdrop. Um, we're gonna add one. This one's gonna be just this purple color. Okay, and then we're gonna paint a new one and this one's gonna be black in this type of shade then now what we're gonna do is change it to blue and then we're just gonna make these neat circles I don't wanna waste what's left the storms we chase are leading us and love is all Okay, so this is going to be our page where we can choose if we're going to start or quit, and this is going to be when we're going to play. So let me just drag this one down to the bottom. Okay, now let's go to the scripts for the bowl. So what you're going to do is go to events. Drag in a when green five clicked, and then you're gonna go to looks, drag in a hide, and then that's basically the first part of it. So now, what we're gonna do is go to events again. Now what you're gonna do 
is go to your apple. We're gonna make him regenerate like anywhere as you see in the preview. There's, he's gonna regenerate over here, maybe over here. So we're gonna do this code for the, the apple. So what we're gonna do is go to go to events, drag in a one green flag click, and then we're gonna go to motion. We're gonna go to random position, and then we're gonna go to motion, and we're gonna set Y to 180. Okay. And then now what we're gonna do is go to control. We're gonna drag in a forever, and then so he can fall down. We're gonna do a go to motion. We're gonna change y y negative five. So what this is gonna do is make him fall down. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is go to control and make sure you're in the apple. We're gonna go to control. We're gonna drag in an if then statement. And then we're gonna drag in uh, greater than. So Y position. Y position. And then in the Y position. And then we're gonna do a negative 170. And then we're gonna make them go to a random position. Uh, we're gonna go to motion, drag in, go to random position, and then we're gonna set Y to 180. Then he's gonna regenerate. And like that, he just moves around and regenerates. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go to events again. We're gonna drag in a when green flag clicked. We're gonna make go to looks and make them hide. And then this is gonna be our score system. So we're gonna drag in another one green flag clicked. We're gonna go to data, make a variable, score, and make it for all sprites. So we're gonna call it score. We're gonna set score to zero when we start. And then that's, we're gonna add on to the score later. So now let's go to making the start and quit button. So it's gonna be black. We're gonna duplicate this costume. And fill this one black. Fill this one, or fill the outside of it with this bright color. Okay. So, what are you gonna write in this one? It's gonna be start. I like it in marker, so I'm gonna put it in marker. This one's gonna be start. Uh, uh, okay, that should do. Um, we're gonna paint a new sprite. This one's gonna be our quit button.
Okay, so we're gonna do this one right. Fill this one in. Black. Fill this one in black. And then we're gonna go to our text. And make sure it's the light blue. And we're gonna make him say quit. Say quit on this one too. Alright. Okay. So now we can get into the code for the start button. So now what we're gonna do is go to events for the start. We're gonna drag in when green five clicked. And then we're gonna make them go. Um, oh my god! We're gonna go to looks, <laughs> and then we're gonna make them switch to costume number one. I believe that's the first costume. Yeah, number one. And then we're gonna make them show. And then we're gonna go to control. We're gonna drag in a forever block. And then an if then, and then we're gonna go to sensing if touching mouse pointer, so we can change to the second costume. So we're gonna go switch to costume number two, and then we're gonna go to events. We're gonna do when the sprite is clicked. We're gonna go to control forever. Switch to costume three. I mean not three. Um two, I mean. We're gonna go to looks, switch to costume two, and then we're gonna go to control. We're gonna make them stop it all. And then we're gonna go to event when I receive message one we'll just leave it like that and then we're gonna make them hide I'm just gonna leave it like that so um oh whoops this was all meant to go into the quit So just like lightly drag it on and put it under quit. Okay, and then we can just delete this. My bad. Anyways. So now let's move on to the start. <laughs> so we're gonna do go to events when green flag clicked. We're gonna go to looks. We're gonna switch to costume. I mean backdrop number two. I believe is yes backdrop number two so this is gonna be our start screen and then we're gonna go to looks again we're gonna drag in a show then we're gonna go to control and then we're gonna drag in a forever block and then we're gonna put in an if inside of the forever so if touching mouse pointer which is sensing you have to go to sensing dragging if touching mouse pointer and then we can go to looks again we're gonna make a switch to costume number two okay let me just try it out and he gets highlighted they both get highlighted that's good okay now we're gonna go to events we're gonna drag in when the sprite is clicked and then we're gonna go to control drag in a forever 
we're gonna switch to costume number three. I mean, number two. Switch to costume number two. And then we're gonna make him broadcast. Go to events, we're gonna make him broadcast message play. Message play. And then we're gonna make them switch to backdrop number one. We can go to looks, drag and switch to backdrop number one. And then he's gonna hide. Okay, that works. Now what we're gonna do is go back to our quit button, and we're gonna, instead of when I receive message number one, we're gonna do when I receive message play, or when I receive play, he's gonna hide. So I'll just clean this up. And then we're gonna go to our apple, And we're gonna do when I receive message play. We're gonna go to events. When I receive message play, he's gonna go to looks or we're gonna go to looks and drag in a show. We're gonna go to control, drag in a forever, and then go to control again, which we're in. Drag in an if, then statement, and then we're gonna go to sensing. Um, if touching color this, only then we're gonna make him play the sound pop. Oh, we're gonna go to sound and make him play sound pop. And then we're gonna go to our data and we're gonna make them change score by one. Okay. And then we're gonna make them do go to random position. So see this one up here? You're just gonna drag it out of here. Just duplicate it because it's basically the same thing. And drag it back in there. Okay. This one works. Now what we're gonna do is go to your quit when I receive play. Okay, I did that. Okay, now we're gonna go to our bowl. And then we're gonna go to events. When I receive play, we're gonna make them show. And then we're gonna go to control. Drag in a forever. Drag in two if thens. This is gonna be our controls. If right arrow key pressed, go to sensing. If key right arrow pressed, then we're gonna go to motion. We're gonna change x by 10. And then we're gonna go to sensing again. If key left arrow press this time um, we're gonna make them go to motion we're gonna make them uh, change x by negative 10 okay um, yeah, we're gonna have to drag it up put the quit on the bottom Oops, start on the top Okay. So we're gonna go to our start. We're gonna make them um, when green flag clicked. We're gonna make them um, switch to costume number one when green flag clicked. We're gonna make them um, go to looks. Um, switch to 
costume number one. Okay. So now he's like that. And he comes back. And, he, and it plays the sound pop. So we're just going to basically duplicate this until we have five. Enter this. Start. And you can see the score that it changes. Let me just put them over here. Changes. And that's basically it. Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. So, yeah. Hope you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, and leave a comment down below of what you want next. And in the coming days, I'll be doing something very, very different on my channel. Something which is not meant for this channel. So, yeah. So just, um, it's coming in the coming days, I'll be doing something very weird on this channel. So, hope you guys like today's video, and this guy out. Peace!